welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today, okay, the lighting is going crazy. I just want to apologize before I start. The, the sun keeps going in and out and it's just making my lighting go all sorts of crazy. So I hope you guys don't mind that. But nevertheless, today I have for you guys a Primark haul. It's been a minute, let's just say. Like, it's been a minute since I last posted my last... It's been a minute since... Yeah. It's been a quite a while since I last posted my Primark haul. I've missed going to Primark, honestly. Like, I haven't been to Primark in a while. But yesterday, I went to Primark after ages. I got so excited. I was like, yes! Primark, let's do this. I can't wait to do uh, like a haul for you guys and show you guys like what Primark has. And then I got a bit disappointed because Primark didn't really have loads of like cool bits. It just had like okay-ish bits. But, but um, without this long intro, without me rambling any longer, I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up from Primark. So without this long intro, let's jump into it, guys. So the first item I picked up was something I picked up like. I want to say maybe a week or so ago so like that's one of the first I oh my god this lighting why why do you gotta do me today why but yeah the first item I picked up is something I picked up like a while ago like just over a week ago so it looks a bit mucky it looks a bit dirty but it's cool I'm gonna show you guys it because they still actually have it in Primark currently so of course I had to show it to you guys okay so the first thing I picked up are these pair of shoes yes they look really mucky and just not cute anymore but nevertheless I, I loved it when I first saw it I was like I need these in my life it's something I've been looking for for like ages I'm not really into the whole Doc Martens kind of like boots they kind of they're a bit chunky they're a bit bulky and I'm just not digging that whole look but these kind of are a like Doc Martin Timberland look-alike but obviously they're not um, but yeah they look like this obviously they've got a bit of a wedge Um, it's black the only thing is it's suede and with suede it gets really dirty quick so that's the only wow this lighting is really gonna bug me today isn't it and it's yeah like the only problem is it's suede so it obviously does get dirty quite quick and uh, but nevertheless i have worn it uh, i've tried it on i've gone out with it and it's so so comfy i just love the way it looks it looks really nice with like jeans it looks nice with like um jogging bottoms which i'm gonna actually show you what i got next which is jogging bottoms a little sneak peek but anyways i love these and i picked it up and it was only 14 pounds and i got it in a size of five because Sometimes I'm like size four and a half, sometimes I'm a five, depending on what shoes. But for boots, I thought I'd go for a five because obviously I'd wear thick socks with it. So that's the first item I picked up. It's black, of course, because this goes with so many different looks. So, you know, you know, I had to get some black boots. So the next item, of course, is a pair of joggers. But these are very, very different. First and foremost, the nude. I don't really go for like nude items because they look like your skin. They look like you literally got nothing on. But... I don't know it caught my eye I thought you know what the whole nude is so in at the moment the whole nudes the whole creams like er like it's just everywhere so I thought why not pick it up it was only a fiver I got it in a size small and I just love the way it looks and it's just like super long and okay so the story behind these trousers I have worn it out I've worn it out with the boots actually I'll pop a picture here on the screen so you guys can see how it looks and this is how I styled it but um yeah so i wore it out we went out i think we went to get food or something and i got a stain on it and i've just literally like i don't know if you, c you guys can see the stain where is it Huh? i swear there's a stain on here okay yeah here caught it there's like a stain on here i popped it in the wash just literally came out of the wash today and it hasn't gone so i might need to nip into primark and get another one it's only a fiber so it's not too bad but I love these joggers, they're so so comfy. It's like fleecy from the inside, so it keeps you like super warm right now for the winter. It just fits really nice. Oh, I love it. It's like so beautiful, and I would highly recommend it. They have it in different colours too. They had it in so many different colours actually. Uh, black, navy blue, I think I saw like a green, khaki green, which is actually so nice. I was like so tempted to get that too. Um, yeah, they had a lot to be honest. So, you know, it's definitely like worth looking 
get yourself a pair of joggers because super cute. Okay, so right here, moving on. The next item is something a bit more colorful, a bit more vibrant. And it's this skirt over here. In the camera, it looks really yellow, but it's not yellow. It's like a, a really true mustard color. Um, as you guys know, like last year, I was very into mustard. You guys would have seen a lot of mustards in my hauls and stuff like that. I don't know, I just fell in love with mustard. It's such a beautiful, vibrant color. And then I was walking past and I saw this skirt that is mustard and oh my god, it literally drew me to this pretty much straight away. I was like, oh my god, I love the way it looks. Um, it's high-waisted, so you got like a little crossing to just tie, tighten it up. Um, the only thing is it's got like massive slits at the front as you guys can see but obviously it'll be fine if you wear like light leggings or like tights underneath it and it's got like tail shelf buttons all the way down which makes it look that like just a little bit extra sophisticated and just like put together so I just really like it. I picked it up in a size 12, I wanted it to be obviously really loose and like flowy and stuff. Um, I'm just excited about it, I thought right, currently in Primark they have a lot of like spring um, related outfits got a lot of skirts going on a lot of like like vest tops shorts and stuff i think primark skin just that little bit excited for like spring i mean it's still really nippy outside it's super windy and stuff but you know primark have a lot of like spring summer related outfits at the moment so i don't know but when i went in i wasn't digging the whole like outfits and stuff they were very like flowery they were very like kind of in your face um, and I just wasn't feeling it, if you know what I mean, like, that's why I was kind of like a bit put back. I saw a lot of like cool outfits and I was like, yeah, I want to get it, but then the prints were very like bold, very out there, and I was just like, whoa, like, no honey, it's a bit too much, so, I don't know, I was a bit disappointed with the range they had currently, so, yeah, anyways, but I, fa I found this and I was very happy about it, so, um, yeah, excited to rock this whenever it gets a bit sunny and a bit more like spring-like because right now it ain't spring-like okay so uh, moving on the next item I picked up is a scarf okay the only thing I realized today getting ready for this video I put my scarf on and then I was like in my like scarf collection and I noticed I had a lot of these colored scarves so I'm a bit like do I really need another one it's like this pink salmon color and I've actually I actually own like at least three or four of these colors so I'm like I don't know if I really need this now but I don't know it just it's just really nice it's got tassels here on the scarf and it just thinks it's such a beautiful scarf if you kind of just drape it and then the tassels just like flow over here I don't know um, I thought I don't know it looked pretty so I picked it up and then I just realized today that I actually own a lot of these colors so do I need another one I don't know um, but it was only a four, it was only four pounds and I don't know, I might keep it because I love the drapes, like I love the tassels, I think the tassels are so beautiful, if you just drape it, like, oh, I'm keeping it, I'm just keeping it, it's £4, I mean, I'm not going to show you guys what underwear I picked up, but I picked up the basics, you know, I can't go to Primark without picking up like socks, vest tops, underwear and stuff like that, so of course I had to pick a couple of pair of um, the basics up. Okay, and then I nipped in to like the beauty section in Primark where they have like the makeup and all of that stuff. And then I um, I thought I'd pick one of these up. These are her, uh, near hair remover. I usually use it for my upper lip or whatever. Okay, you know, we, we, gotta, we gotta take care of that too, you know. So I thought I'd pick one up. And I think this costed £2.90 if I'm not mistaken, yeah, £2.90, which is not bad. And this is a sensitive one. It's got vitamin E and aloe vera in, so it's good for, like, sensitive skin, which is cool because, obviously, because it's on my skin, I don't want to use anything that's too, like, you know, strong. So I thought I'd go for a sensitive one, so I did. Okay, so I'm coming towards um, the last few items I picked up. So uh, then I went to the home section in Primark. I love the home section in Primark. and um, They have a lot of, like, gold accents. They have, like frames candles and they had like a lot going on but i feel like i bought quite a lot of housey bits recently you guys would have seen that in my previous vlog if you haven't watched that i will leave that link down below for you guys but basically i bought a lot of like housey bits recently so i don't really need anything as such but i saw this and i was like this is lovely this is perfect it goes really well in my office it's just like a little storage basket but i thought i would pick it up and just pop like 
my A4 paper right next to my printer. You know, being an adult out here, you know, you need to print stuff out. So I thought I'd pick it up and this was reduced from five pounds to two pounds. So really, really inexpensive. And I just think it's really nice because it's like a matte black and I just love that whole, the whole vibe. So, you know, and it's two pounds, so I needed that. Okay, so I thought I'd pick something else up, but I don't know where it's gone. I don't know. I picked something else up and I don't know where it's gone. It's like, done a runner. But anyways, that is everything I picked up from Primark this time round. Like I mentioned, honestly guys, they they didn't have a lot going on. Well, not in my my Primark, my first. I usually go for the first part Primark and I feel like they didn't have much much going for it like they didn't they didn't have a lot okay like I wasn't happy with everything they had I usually love going into Primark I get a bit excited and I'm like yeah I'm gonna do like a good Primark shop but honestly it was like it let me down it let me down this time but that is everything I picked up from Primark and nevertheless I hope you guys enjoyed this Primark haul if you guys did don't forget to smash that thumbs up and I shall see you guys really really soon in my next video until then bye guys